What, what should be done now is uh, the, the West, the United States in particular, needs to use whatever leverage it has to force these two parties to come to a more accommodating stance, meet at a big, beautiful table, as the former president would say, and, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, talk it big, over. Beautiful table. Yeah, yeah, yeah talk yeah, it over. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, the Ukrainians can't they're not going to be able to push the Russians out and the Russians are not going to be able to push into to central and Western Ukraine. Well, well, so, well, that's why I'm so dismayed by the <laughs> Biden administration. It seems to me if we had some grownups, they would say, look, this thing, let's wrap this thing up because it's turning out the sanctions are hurting us more right. than they're hurting Russia. Right. Right. And you think food prices are high this year, wait till the cost of fertilizer well, yeah. and the scarcity of all that hits. Yeah. It's going to be far worse. Well, the fertilizer issue is already bad and getting worse, and that's partly because there was a drought in Latin America. And so that, that, that has been uh, in negatively impacting agricultural prices across the board um, it, the whole since last six months ago. Mm -hmm. And so now you, have, you add in this Russian issue, and now you have a real problem where, uh, you know, not just fertilizer, but in general, the cost of agricultural goods is going to spike for everybody. Um, and those supply chain issues are going to be exacerbated. It's going to be made worse um, by all of these different things happening at the same time.